here's another little extract from my book about writing, the reason to write. This is called Gunpoint. One of the most pressing questions I have about human society is why, when it comes to creative people, such low expectations prevail. We're reminded endlessly of the household names, the Shakespeare's, the Hugo's, the Tolstoy's and the Goethe's, but we're never expected to rival them in quality or quantity of their output. It's as if they're in a separate pantheon of their own and God help anyone who thinks they have even an outside chance of creating anything half as good. The literary world's dumbing down of anyone trying to break into the world of writing leads to chronically low self-esteem. I've met a great many aspiring authors who don't push themselves because they're just too fearful of agents, of publishers, of critics, and of readers too. 20 years ago, I inherited a box of papers left by my grandfather, the Sardar Iqbal Ali Shah. Inside, I found a treasure trove of material, most of it notes from his travels through Arabia in the 1930s. On a little scrap of paper, I found a single line typed out and I've saved it as though it was exceedingly important. It said, write as though a gun is pointed to your head. As chance would have it, my Swedish film crew and I were arrested in Pakistan shortly afterwards. Blindfolded and manacled, we were taken to a torture prison known as The Farm, where we spent 16 dreadful days and 16 dreadful nights. Early during the ordeal, I was dragged outside in the middle of the night. A pistol was pressed against the side of my head and I was told that the end of my life had come. As it turned out, the execution was a mock one laid on to destabilize me, which, oh my God, it did. The reason I mention it here is that, although intensely unpleasant, having a gun pointed at my head and the trigger cocked, it did wonders to focus my thoughts. Last week, a writer friend of mine asked me why I feel it necessary to churn out so much work. I replied, it was because I pretend there's a gun to my head and that if I don't grind away, as many other writers should, or at least could be doing, the trigger will be pulled. Yeah, but it's okay for you, isn't it? My friend snapped. In what way? I asked. Well, you've got a first rate, rate sense of imagination. So you just close your eyes and you see it all. See what? See the gun at your head? This is the one case in which no imagination is necessary, I told him, because I have the reason to write.